Back on part 14. Snake, the doctor's safe here with us. Huey, how are you feeling? Never better. This is quite the pad you've got here, boss. I'm impressed. Call me Snake. Whatever you say. Like it or not, everyone here calls you boss. <laughs> By the way, if you're at all interested in improving your tech, by all means, assign me to the R&D section. I'm pretty sure I'll be of some use. Once we have the necessary materials and blueprints, we can start work on that bipedal mech. I appreciate that, but are you sure you're okay with having your work used for war? I'm... I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help thwart the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Deterrence theory, Huey style, huh? <laughs> anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. I've been given my own frequency. Sounds good to me, Doc. I'll do that. Good. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Alright. Looks like I feel like we're halfway through this now. Hey, boss. You mind if we powwow for a sec? <sighs> what now? MSF brand rations. Actually, that sounds... Uh, no, no. <laughs> With all the men we have now, it may be time we started sending some of them to other countries. You mean, dispatching marks? How else are we gonna keep feeding the crew we have? I know. You're right. Okay. To deploy troops, select outer ops from the mother base menu. If it goes really well, we might even get new recruits, weapon design specs, or leads on new missions. We can deploy any vehicles or large-scale weapons in our arsenal as well. And if things don't go really well. Yeah, we could lose men. I won't try and force you. You're the one calling the shots here, boss. Alright, I'm going to check out Mother Base for a minute. And then we're going to go to the next mission. Just finished mission about in the... R&D shit, bullshit part of the game, and I now I need to get back into the missions. I'll show you though. I mean, do you guys want to see those me mess around there? I don't know. I don't think you do. Armored vehicle battle. Destroy or destroy vehicle. Neutralize enemy soldiers. Complete mission. What's the point of these? Like, well, I wish it'd be more clear about what you get if you do it. I feel like just doing the main story, man. Snake. Peace Walker is the heart of the enemy's project. To prevent its completion, you'll need to either shut down or destroy the artificial intelligence that functions as its brain. According to Huey, that AI is now undergoing final calibrations in Strangelove's lab. It's inside a tropical cloud forest. Slip in and terminate that AI before they ship it out. Okay, let's go. Let's see what people's got to say. We've also confirmed that some of the enemies specialize in amber. Oh no, I haven't seen this. Okay, these guys know CQC, eh? Jesus. Are there any large-scale ruins in Costa Rica, Paz? There is a place east of Cartago called Guajabu. They have ruins there, but they're not especially big. Mm, not the place I'm thinking of. Any others? Well, if you go a little way across the border into Nicaragua, there's a place called La Fortaleza de la Inmaculada Concepción. That is names. the only famous one. Then what were those name. ruins I saw from Abanirasu? There are a lot of things we still do not know about Costa Rica's ancient civilizations. There are giant stone spheres throughout the country. What they were used for is still a mystery. Tropical cloud forests. The cloud forests cover the central mountainous region of the country. They are perpetually shrouded in fog. You get wet just standing there. It is as if the entire forest is inside a cloud. Must make for poor visibility. It does, but beauty too. It is like being lost in some mystical green labyrinth. I'd rather not get lost, if that's okay. The forests are also home to lots of rare animals, especially bright-colored frogs. They like the humidity. Do 
Hey, you know that butterfly painted on Peace Walker? Any idea what that is? It is a morpho. A Palladius morpho, if I'm not mistaken. Palladius morpho? Uh-huh. It is the most common type of morpho in Costa Rica. Huh. It has these gorgeous metallic blue wings that shimmer in the light. You can see them even from a distance. You mean they reflect light? Correct. It is called structural color. Morpho scales have tiny bumps on them that interfere with the light and make them look blue. The space between the bumps corresponds to the wavelength of the blue light. Let me see if I get this. So if you could change the spacing, you'd end up seeing a different color. That is the principle. I heard somewhere it is being researched as a way to color cloth without dye. Think of the camouflage you could make with that. Is that all you can think of? Hey, it's important. What I don't get is why they'd put a butterfly on Peace Walker. Maybe because it looks pretty. I hope that's all it is. <laughs> this area is a tropical cloud forest, continually covered in a thick mist. It is quite a mystical place. Selva de la Leche, forest of milk. I can barely see in front of me. There you go again. The forest is basically sitting in a cloud, so of course it's going to be hard to see. But you know, the cloud forest is the only place many exotic creatures can live. Well, if they're not edible, <laughs> I'm not interested. Snake, I'll have you know people travel from all around the world to witness Costa Rica's unique fauna. Yeah, he just wants to eat it. Snake, watch out for the frogs. Why? They bite. Relax. No frogs ever eaten a snake. <laughs> Although, I feasted on a few frogs' legs myself. But they are dangerous. They are poisonous. Poisonous? Poison dart frogs live up to their name, I assure you. Their poison is so strong, the indigena use them to make poison-tipped arrows. Some secrete poison through their skin. Even touching them can be dangerous. So don't go petting them or anything. Yeah, so... I can't eat one. I am warning you. <laughs> Some good old paramedic stuff there. From here on in, you'll be in a cloud forest. The ground is covered in vegetation. You'll have plenty of hiding places, but so will the enemy. I'll keep an eye out for scouts. Trying to force your way through would be suicide. Know the enemy's location before making any moves. Too bad you don't have some sort of radar. <laughs> I could try night vision. Once you know where an enemy is, decide how you want well, to handle him. You could get into his blind made. spots. Or drop him from a distance before he even has a clue someone's around. An eye for an eye, right? Chico, you know much about cloud forests? Mm, not that much. All I know is there's a world of difference between a rainy rainforest and a foggy cloud forest. But they have some things in common. But like, for instance, you gotta watch out for poison dart frogs. Both rain and cloud forests have high humidity, so they're perfect environments for frogs and other amphibians. I mean, it's not like just touching a strawberry poison dart frog or a dying dart frog is going to kill you. But don't eat them, no matter how hungry you get. I can get all the rations I need from Mother Base. No jungle food for me this time. Seriously? You're not disappointed you don't get to eat wild animals? <laughs> what do you think I am? <laughs> Just kidding. In Colombia, though, there's a frog. The golden dart frog that's lethal to the touch. How do you know all this? Come on. Don't you think poisonous animals are cool? Not if you get poisoned by one. Well, obviously. One more thing. When you get to the forest, be on the lookout for Bigfoot. I... I... Think I'll be okay there. <laughs> she goes funny. Oh God. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at that in my own time. That's like some weird monster hunter shit. Holy mother of God! It's just about this mission, isn't it? What the hell? Wow, this is a lot of interesting stuff here. This is for me, my private time. You guys know what to do with this. Go check it out when you uh, so go check it out on some YouTube videos. 
Right, let's get this mission started. I don't think I'll be needing the law, but I will be needing my good old uh, MK22. When is this going to level up anyway? Muzzle nugget. You know what? I want to take a machine gun. It could be more fun. The M60. Smoke grenade. Is my smoke grenade leveled up? I don't think it has. I thought it had. Alright. Let's get a move on. Chapter 2. I thought I was halfway through this. How many chapters are there? God damn. Snake, how's the mule treating you? Uh, at this pace, I should be there by tomorrow morning. You've got to hurry. The AI could be completed any time now. It'd be nice to have a guide. Already on it. I've enlisted Pass to help you. She knows the jungle pretty well. Snake. I know you are an expert in survival, but you need to stay alert. You are in an ancient jungle so foggy, you can hardly see the trees. It is home to 2,500 species of plants, including 400 types of orchids. There are also 500 species of butterflies and over 400 species of wild birds. The bedrock is solid enough <laughs> that Mayan ruins have miraculously survived just centuries of juice. earthquakes. Uh, an AI lab in a Mayan ruin. Who'd have thought, hey, Huey? My sentiments exactly. That doesn't mean security is any less tight, though. You still have the ID card I gave you, don't you? Mm, got it right here. That'll get you through the gate, no problem. After that, you're on your own. As long as the AI remains unassembled, Coldman's plans on ice. <laughs> what about security inside the lab? Well, <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem for you. Strange Love demanded that the security presence inside the lab be kept to a minimum. It's not all good news, Snake. Coldman knows we're here. He's raised security in the area surrounding the lab. You'll be seeing a lot of that chrysalis UAV, and a bunch of patrol choppers, too. There may be scouts in the jungle lying in ambush. As you approach the lab, be extra vigilant. I'll be careful. He just eats fish raw like that, man. Thanks for being careful. They're looking for you. Stay sharp. Oh god, this looks gonna be Snake. hard. Strange Love's lab is a few miles to the north. It won't be long before the AI is complete. Don't let that happen. Right, gotta stop this AI from being completed. If there's enemy scouts around here, they'll be nearly impossible to see. Why so impossible to see? It will be camouflaged. Right, which way am I going? I guess this is the right way. I look back there then. But there's some sick weapon back there. And they can't go there. They can't actually go in the water. Watch out. Enemy search may not spot enemies that are actively hidden. Okay. Okay. Somebody there? Oh shit. Nothing here. Right, let me see if I can take this guy out. Sweet. Look at those red spots on my radar.
Off you go, mate. Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. Where the other guy is. A letter to Doctor Strangelove. Huh. Wonder what that's about. Look at the structural coloring on these morphos. Fascinating. Strangelove's lab is north of there. Head north. It'd be nice if I could cobble together a high-performance portable radar unit for you here at Mother Base. Oh, yes. Start talking. Start talking. Start talking. Nothing up there, no fruit or nothing. Start talking. Thanks for telling me that. What the hell? Why did, you, why did that happen? That was really weird. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. The lab seems to be located in a vast series of ruins. Oh man. What's that hazard sign there? I wonder which way I should go. Which way should I go? I think I have to go north. Ooh, what's that? I'd love to know what that is. Look at these fucking scarecrows, man. Fucking shit you up nice. Oh, there's a guy right here, look at that. And if I put a photo on it, it'll work. Guess not. Nothing here. Free. Somebody there. Here he is. How the hell did he see me from there? Oh shit. For fuck's sake, man! Oh. Take them all out like flies, buddy. Time cutting. What do I do to deserve this? Butterfly. Keep going on about butterflies, man. Oh, great. Shit. All right.
right, well, see you in the next mission. And see you in the next video.